guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have another video for y'all, and uh, basically I'm meeting somebody that I've been wanting to meet for a very long time. He doesn't know that, pretty much none of you guys know this, but he has a 335i that I believe is the most insane 335i build I've ever seen. This guy has purchased this car from literally, it was nothing, completely totaled out from Copart, fixed the entire car up. He completely, like, this car, I'm telling you guys, was totaled. Like, when I mean totaled, I mean totaled. I'm gonna see if I can get some pictures in and some videos in it from him actually doing the build. I remember I saw a video a long time ago, and uh, it's a very good video, basically showing how he went from garbage to something very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and go pick up Muhammad, and once I pick up Muhammad, I'm gonna be heading uh, straight down to his place, and, um, I'm gonna try to shoot some shots. We were planning on going to Sonoma, but uh, unfortunately they have like some kind of training thing going on right now, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, you know, record during a training session, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for another day, and then me and him are gonna still meet down there. He, he lives close to Sonoma, so it's, I'm not bothering him too much. Um, but at the same time, it'll be some really good content for you guys, because he rips his car, really, it's a beautiful car. I, I have, I can't stress it. When I get to him, I'll cut back to you guys, but uh, Got another hour and 30 minute drive to go, so. Hey, so what do you want to say, Noor? Is it recording? Yeah, it is recording. Is it focused? It's focused on me, because you already know, man. Yeah, look, it, tell, him, uh, tell him what's up. So what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? I miss you. I, it's been a while since I've been in this channel. Watch out, we don't want to die, man. We don't want to die. Well, I'm good. And shout out to the guy for for coming all the way to. Yeah, um, honestly, shout yeah, out to him. Yeah, shout out to him, honestly. But, uh, yeah, you see, so you guys will see his car in. All right, guys, so we're finally here after an hour and a half drive. It's supposed to be only an hour, but you know, your boy Norm messed up. So we're finally here, and look at the view. Honestly, I get some really sick shots. Hope I can get a good thumbnail as well. I'm here with Fadi right now. Um, this is his car, and you guys, when I mean an insane build, this is the most insane build I've ever seen. I'm gonna let him show you guys what he's done exactly, but um, just wanna put it out there. How did this car look when you first got it? Uh, I got it from the junkyard for like three Junkyard. Miles. I just, so was, this car uh, came from a junkyard guy. It, was, oh, it, it has exterior damage, so I had to fix that. Just front end damage and without, without tires too. Without, without tires. tires. So like the suspension was shot. Uh, the suspension was damaged as well. Uh, wow. So I had to replace all of that. Uh, I picked it up with my friend. I feel it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we towed it all the way back to this garage, and we started the build over there. So, and you built this like right outside where you live, right? Like it wasn't in a garage, right? It was on the street. Mostly. It was on the street. Yeah, yeah that's insane. Up, yeah, so something that's really crazy. I mean, I'm blessed to have a garage to work on my car, but you know, that shouldn't be your excuse if you have a garage. Like, this guy, literally, I'm about to show you guys the car right now. Look at this. I wish I had a garage. If you had a garage, I don't even want to see the car. I would take the engine apart. Yes, look at this car right here. Okay, so this is what he's built. Fully wide body 335i. I, I don't even know. I don't even think there's a single thing stock on here. Uh, mostly no. There's nothing stuck. <laughs> and he's done this pretty much outside his house. No garage, no nothing. So <laughs> so the only thing stuck apparently according to him is the windows. That's pretty much it. Um, legit guys, not a, I can't find a single, you guys are just look at the engine bay. I'll show you guys, you know, a full tour in a little bit. But yeah, pretty much this car, he's gotten it for how much? You said around 3,000? 3,000. 3,000. Yeah. Yes, look at this. $3,000 once was car, and now it's worth more than an M3, and it's way faster than an M3. This is another reason why I'm thinking about a 335. Is it M54 or N55? N54. N54. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm thinking about the N55, but uh, the N55 you can get a lot more power from it, right? Weak, man. It's weak. weak. Alright, so for those of you guys on my channel that are saying it's weak, that guy supports you right there. Oh, do you recommend purchasing this car under warranty from a dealership, or do you like say it's better to buy it from Copart and like have a build? Because uh, you did it from Copart, but did you have like so much issues? You just recommend getting it under warranty, or no? Just buy it like used, because uh, you're not gonna use the warranty if you're gonna modify it. Well, you can't know? you just remove stuff and then take it back to warranty? You can't do that. It's a lot of hassle. You know? Yeah, me, I, feel I just it. Uh, modify it and like get it cheap, as cheap as possible. Is the best. I feel it. Best so, way to go. so you got yours from Copart. Uh, mine, I found it on Craigslist. Craigslist, uh, like that? Yeah, on Craigslist. Huh. Uh, but uh, this one, I just found it uh, close to me, so I went. Dude, that's to see perfect. The... No fees, no nothing. Yeah, I went to see the car. That's and awesome. Yeah. I liked it, and I just uh, bit the it. bullet. Yeah. So you had the yeah. plan for it, right? Like to modify it from the beginning. I, my plan was to modify. I used to have a 335 before this one. I crashed it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I loved the car so much. So oh, I was the silver one. one. It was a silver one. Yeah, yeah, I saw it on your account. Yeah. I thought that one you crashed it and then you ended up buying it back. 
no, no, no. That one was total damage. The frame and the engine was damaged. Uh, All right, guys. So, um, Fadi, right? Fadi, yes. So, out of curiosity, how do you get 400 horsepower? Like, what is the safest route to get 400 horsepower? Uh, you need a tune. So, a tune uh, first thing. Intercooler. Intercooler. And a downpipe. That's like an in air intake. Air intake, okay. And you should be able to push So it roughly right like a thousand dollars to get everything or? A uh, thousand to two thousand, depends on the companies you buy the parts from. Some, I feel it. Yeah. But then I can push four hundred with only like, let's just say a thousand. Four hundred with, uh, with these parts only. Wow. All right, yeah. guys. Tune Ooh. is the most important part. All right, guys. So this is how his NG bay currently sits. So right off the bat, I can see you have a strut bar, you have um, an air intake, I don't know what all these things sticking out are. This is for the oil cooler. Oil cooler? Uh, recently the pipe broke, so I need to replace it. That's why I just piped oh, I see. the oil cooler. So that for now. What else do I, we can see in here that you've done to the car? Uh, blow up valve, air intake. So that's a blow up valve? Yes. That looks good. All right. You can see the charge pipe here. H Where? Yes. The charge oh, pipe. that's the charge pipe right charge down there, pipe. guys. Uh, you have the CSF radiator. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you it. can't see from over. Can you see from the front? This is a bigger radiator to make it cool. This you can see the uh, the oil cooler is down there, right? This is the intercooler. Oh, intercooler. Yeah, okay. Oil cooler, you can see it from this. It's right here. That's like the. Oh, and right there, that's the oil cooler. So as you can see, everything from the front end. That's dope. I just want to pop over my hood when I go to a car meet. This looks so sick. So he went with like a com completely custom bumper that came with the lip pretty much, like this carbon fiber um, lip pieces. He did aftermarket headlights, like the rings, right? Um, that change colors through your phone? Uh, you can change all the, yeah. With your phone. See, oh, the hood's carbon fiber too? You guys, you can see he doesn't even care. He wraps this car, I would leave it. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see the carbon right there. Okay, then at least he's showing a little bit. Um, as you guys can see also the full wide body uh, BBS rims, these are authentic, authentic BBS rims, not like my rice out car. And then we got um, the M3 fenders, right? M3 fenders. Fenders. Mirror, uh, oh yeah, these guys are so, I always wanted these. Very expensive mirrors. Um, are these oh, like OEM? Uh, these OEM, uh, I found the crashed uh, M3. Oh, okay, I see. And, yeah. Uh, I just emailed him. Alright guys, so yeah, pretty much got a darn good deal on the mirrors. Uh, you guys can see it's got two wings, not one, but two, right? Uh, this is the GTS. G GTS wing, quad tip exhaust, and yeah, is that real carbon fiber as well down there? Yeah, carbon fiber diffuser. Real carbon fiber diffuser, M3 style bumper with like extra extensions, again with the wide body in the rear. Very aggressive. What do you have in the exhaust? I have the also, the exhaust is full, a straight, straight pipe, oh, straight all pipe. the way from the engine. So no cats? <laughs> no cats. I want to hear this, dude. And also, I can tell that the side skirts are also um, are those M3, M3 side skirts. Yeah, it's and full, bo full body M3 conversion. Full body, and then adds more than the M3 with the wide body and everything, like we stated, guys. Uh, the Euro style tail lights. LCI tail lights? Yes, Euro style tail lights. It's got uh, the Euro style LCI tail lights. Just tow hook there, you know, why not? Because, you know. You need it to go to tracks. Some tracks they require. Really? Yes. All right, well, yeah. some tracks apparently require that, guys. So, you know, race car life. And uh, <laughs> if you guys look around over here, this is my favorite part. You guys know that I'm a big interior fan. So, he went all out. Like, he, not only did he. Diamond go ahead and diamond stitch everything inside the car but he also got these uh these are these are obviously like aftermarket yeah, seats yeah these are uh rom seats they sell them like that rom seats yeah rom seats so these are rom seats guys and they pretty much i guess they sell like how did you get the color to match that and uh, that they sell them like that so i i wanted the diamonds the red diamond stitching leather so okay. i found i i look at their website and they were selling the seats like that. So well, just that, I mean, that color match, guys, is insane. So, like, that pretty much matches that, like, almost spot. Actually, it is spot on. And then, okay, so not only that, he has a fire extinguisher that, back there, because, you know, race car. And then he has the M3 shift knob, right? M3 shift knob, M3 steering wheel. M3 steering wheel. What uh, else you got on there? Like, the interior is, like, the battle shifter. Oh, yeah, those are aftermarket. It's like also M3 battle shifter. I converted everything to... Uh, were they DCT paddles, or what kind of paddles were they? No, these are just reg the regular battle shifter for the M3. So the left one is, like, uh, downshift. The right one is upshift. And then you just converted it? Yeah. Right on. Like, rewiring. Uh, I did for the back. I don't know. Let's see. You want to see the, the helmet? helmet? Oh, guys, yeah, race car life. He's got a helmet over here. Okay. Also a carbon fiber helmet. Carbon fiber. Oh, yeah, because why not, right? 
Why not? Yes, uh, <laughs> I did also the back seat delete. Oh, you actually did that? Yes. Yeah, again guys, race car. And he's gonna put a cage back here, right? Race car stuff, yeah. Yep. You know, you gotta go all in once yeah, you... Yeah, I mean, he, he already went all in. He's just gonna finish what he started. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is a very insane build. I honestly cannot wait. I'm about to go inside and see you know what this bad boy is capable of and bro shout out to you make sure you guys check out his youtube and his instagram he, he started a youtube channel doesn't really upload much but he has his instagram so if you guys want to check out his car he's in the sonoma area you know the bay area so if you guys want to check out his car make sure you guys hit him up on instagram and um pretty much we're gonna go out and drive we're gonna get to a little bit of cinematics and uh we'll see how this you know what this car is all about Shawty hit my line and she's trying to get up on me I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on my line He with where they are, I was raised with some mileage And everyone got a friend named Abby I'm from OT 613